Hey guys, and welcome to episode number 46 of the Billy Rickman Show podcast. And today, uh, I've got a pretty cool little message with you to share with you guys today, but I may or may not also be uh, recording this on my brand new gimbal. Uh, so if you guys are listening on or watching on YouTube, you'll be able to see, uh, if I see if you see me moving around a little bit, I'm just recording on my brand new device, which I'm a little bit like a kid in the candy shop with um, <laughs> when it comes to tech stuff. I just love it, I totally gig out on tech stuff. So I've got my gimbal, which is my, um, if I can find it yet, my Osmo 2, which is pretty cool. I'm just playing around with it and it's just harder than I thought it would be. But um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, just have a look up for a gimbal online, you'll see what I'm talking about. In case you're going, what the heck? But anyway, I've got heaps to update you guys on and one of those things is the keto diet. So I get tons of questions like, how is it? What's it been like? How, how have you been on it? So for those of you who haven't been following, um, the other day, I well, about a week and a half ago, I said I was going to start doing this um, this keto diet. And it coincided with the birth of my second son, Oscar, and um, I said I, I needed to get some like some more energy, especially with the new kid here, and because um, sleep was going to be lacking, and um, I had a lot going on with work, and I also really wanted to have some more like more mental clarity because they're the two things I really love the most, like energy and mental clarity. Like they're the two things I think are probably the most important things in business, right? Even more so than business sophistication and, and things like that. So um, they're the things I've been, like I really wanted to experiment with on keto. And so um, I've been eating tons and tons of like um, uh, healthy fats. Like so for breakfast in the morning, I've been having um, my coffee, which is um, which has got butter and coconut oil and this other like oil stuff on it. And, um, and then for breakfast, like cheese and scrambled eggs and, and bacon. And, and so for some people like salivating this are going, wow, that sounds pretty amazing, right? And then for lunch, I've been having like these salads with some chicken in it. And then at dinner, I've been having all sorts. Like last night, um, Ash made me these burgers, but instead of bread, I've been using like lettuce leaves and these burgers with cheese and beetroot and egg. And it was like, oh, so good. And, um, and so like the food has actually not been that bad. I've, I've been enjoying the food. But um, two things, three things to note being on keto, right? The first one is I definitely went through a phase of like what they call keto flu. I was feeling really, really nauseous. Um, I didn't get flu symptoms. Like I didn't, I thought I was going to get flu symptoms like, you know, block nose and all this sort of stuff. I didn't get any of that, but I did get um, like a little bit nauseated. And I also got um, like, uh, like really bad migraines. So I used to get migraines as a kid and I've never had migraines for a long time. And for like four days straight, I had migraines. It was really, really painful migraines. And, um, and so it turns out after speaking to my good friend, who's uh, one of my inner circle clients, her name is Jess. Shout out to Jess. I know she listens to the podcast. She's pretty awesome. Um, and she's doing keto with me, right? So when I posted originally, I was going to go do keto. She was like, I'll do it with you. So, um, so I was speaking to her the other day and she's having like killer results. So I was talking to her and she's like, yes, yeah, you're getting migraines because you're not getting the electrolytes. So you need to get some electrolytes. And so um, that seems to have helped. And, uh, and so, yeah, so I've been doing that. But one of the things I'm so super uh, pretty excited about, it's kind of embarrassing to share on the podcast and share on YouTube, but um, when I was young, like in my 20s, I used to have a pretty good physique. I would say I had a pretty good physique. I used to work out a lot and I had a bit of definition going on and that. And then as things go on, I always said to myself, I'll never be one of those guys who get the dad bod and, and all that sort of stuff. And, um, and sure enough, once I, I started really immersing myself into my business and um, had a kid and, and, and family life took over, I, I probably like started to spend less time at the gym and less of a focus on, um, on my physique. And um, like I wouldn't say I definitely got overweight for those of you watching on YouTube, I'm sure you can see it. Like I'm not overweight, but um, like I, I, I put on a little bit. And let's just put it that way. And then the other day I was like standing in front of the mirror. I was like, what is that? And, um, and it, was, it was abdominal muscle. So I went downstairs and I said to Ash, I was like, Ash, what's this? She says, oh my God, that's a six pack. And I was like, no, I haven't seen that in a couple of years. So I was pretty excited. And, and literally like that's not from doing any exercise. Well, not ex I walk the dog every day and I, I'm pretty active in terms of like walking around and that, but I haven't changed my exercise habits. I haven't gone like actively lose weight, but I have seriously lost weight around my belly. Um, and uh, so that has been a really nice and, um, and pleasant surprise. And uh, overall, I just feel a lot more energetic, which is really, really cool. And mental clarity, like um, my coaching calls for the past two weeks have been insane because I was on obviously with some paternity leave with the baby. And then um, after after that, all my coaching clients backed up. Now I've got like 50 coaching clients. So I was doing like 50 calls. I think I did about 30 last week or 35 last week. And then 
this week I've already done like 16, but then like 15 with, with all my clients, but then I've had consulting calls and follow-up calls and all this other stuff as well. So like I've pretty much been on the phone all day, pretty much every day, and then at night time working till about two in the morning to get all my emails done and follow up on my correspondence and, and respond to all my clients. And, and obviously I've got all my franchise stuff. I had a three hour franchise meeting and a two hour marketing meeting this morning with franchise um, with our marketing manager. So it's been pretty hectic. So really looking at how Keto's helped to manage that for me has been pretty cool. And, um, and I definitely think like you could say, well, maybe it's a placebo and maybe it is, I don't know, but the reports from other people who suggest the same thing that I've felt and um, I reckon it's definitely been a big part in me being able to push through these couple of weeks. And so that's number one. The second thing I really wanted to touch base on was my 5,000 subscribe YouTube channel challenge. So those of you who don't know what's going on with that, I set myself a challenge a couple of days ago, it was like last Thursday I think it was, to try and get 5,000 YouTube subscribers in, um, in 30 days, right? Which is massive and there's a kicker. The kicker is I'm not allowed to spend a single cent in trying to do it. And uh, so I've been like thinking of ways and so far I've got like 71, which I started with about five and I've got to 71, which is okay. But you know what's the frustrating thing? The frustrating thing is I know I could massively increase that if I just like spend a little bit of money and, um, and I, 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 I promise I wouldn't do it, but I've got 71 and so a long way to go. But I started a competition today on Facebook and, um, and it's, it's using a messenger bot and then if you actually, um, you know, jump into the competition, then it asks you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And so I'm trying all these different ways and I've noticed that um, YouTube, some things I've noticed is that using YouTube, it's got some pretty cool analytics and um, they've just like launched uh, their beta video studio, which is pretty cool. So I've been um, playing around with that a little bit. I'm oh, sorry, my camera's just gone crazy. Um, so I've been playing around with that a little bit and, um, and the analytics are good because it shows me a lot of cool stuff. And one of the, stu one of the interesting stats I've found is that um, of all my videos that have been watched, there's something like 15 and a half hours of video watching in the past, oh, was it like 48 hours or something like that? Which, I don't know, I don't know how that compares, but I mean, I think it's pretty good considering I had no audience before. That's 15 and a half hours of people watching my content on YouTube, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, but interestingly, like 80% of those watchers are not subscribing to my channel, which tells me two things. Number one, either they haven't logged into their YouTube, their, G, their Google account to actually subscribe, or number two, um, they're just not seeing the, the purpose or the reason to subscribe as yet. So my job is to actually get them to subscribe. And so by not spending a cent, like even little things like the competition I'm running on Facebook, like normally what I could do if I wanted to get people to jump into the competition, which would then flow them through into YouTube, like I could boost that post on um, on Facebook and get more people into the Facebook competition, which would then flow into YouTube. But I, I promise I'm not gonna swear, uh, spend a cent, so I haven't. And then um, the other thing is like, you know, I've got an ebook that's online that people can download, and normally I have ads for that, but then if they, if they go to my ebook, then it could link to my YouTube. So I really wanted to turn off all, um, like, spending for my my business account over the last, over the, these next 30 days which is killing me from a business perspective <laughs> because I'm watching all my audience and engagement go down and probably my competitors are looking at this going yeah it's awesome um but I I really wanted to do this as a challenge and to and you know what like I don't really care about the numbers too much like it doesn't bother me overly that um you know that I'm not really close to where I want to be right now what is interesting to me is that I'm learning these new skills and it means I need to try harder and I'll take the positive. Like, oh, it's 71 subscribers on YouTube that I didn't have before. So that's good, right? <laughs> and um, so I'll keep plugging away that and I'll keep you guys updated on how that's going. But um, if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, just jump over there now and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing heaps of videos. Some of them will be educational. Some of them will be doing interviews and, uh, and some of them will be doing um, these sorts of YouTube podcasts as well. So this is uploaded obviously on iTunes and on my YouTube channel, but also, um, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm also gonna be uploading heaps of other cool content on there as well. So jump over to my YouTube channel and uh, hopefully I would have figured out this gimbal thing a little bit better than now. Hopefully it's not making you too dizzy, too, too dizzy if you're watching this on YouTube right at the moment. So that's my update on keto and YouTube. I actually wanted to um, share a cool little message with you today, but I reckon I'm, I'm gonna share it tomorrow. I reckon that um, this update is, is pretty good for now. And uh, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow in tomorrow's podcast. But it is a really cool message that I've been thinking about over the past couple of days and one that hopefully will, um, will relate to you and how it impacts your business.
But uh, I'd definitely encourage you, based on today's podcast, I'd really encourage you to, to give keto a go. Um, try it out and uh, see what it does for you. I've, like I said, I lost a little bit of weight. I'm feeling good, good mental clarity, good energy. So that's positive. And um, I'm really excited about the new skills I'm learning about how to build an audience on YouTube. And if I can do it the hard way, then I reckon I can, once I'm able to pay for ads and I'm pay, able to pay for, you know, um, for an audience to, to come and, and go into my YouTube channel, I reckon I can do it pretty well. So um, I'm pretty excited by that. So couple and and so if you haven't gone onto Facebook yet, also I just launched my Facebook competition today about um, winning two tickets to my sale and growth seminars, which are coming up in September, which I'm so excited about. Um, tickets go on sale soon. I'm just finalizing the details of the tickets, um, and uh, I can't wait to present those. I've got a really really cool show in um, and, and seminar planned for multiple states of Australia. New Zealand and um, and I'm I'm eighty percent sure now we're doing the US, which will be really really cool. So head on over to my Facebook page, it's Billy Rickman Official. You'll see a competition that's been launched today, and subscribe to that. And um, uh, sorry, enter that. And also go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. So because like I said, I'm going to be uploading tons of video content over the next thirty days to try and get more people into it. So I'll be keeping you guys updated with that. And then at the end of the thirty days, hopefully I'll be able to give you guys a quick summary, not a quick summary, but like a detailed summary about what worked, what didn't work. And gives you guys hopefully some um, some confidence that you too can do it even on a shoestring budget uh, because like I said I'm not spending a single cent to do it. So that's my podcast today. That's my YouTube video today. Um, thanks for listening. My name is Billy Rickman as always. And if you liked this message, if you want to share it, please do so. Please please subscribe to my my podcast on iTunes and on Google. Um, on Google Play, and you can also find me on YouTube at Billy Rickman and my Facebook page, which is Billy Rickman Official. So hope you enjoyed my podcast today, and I'll chat to you guys tomorrow. See you later. Bye-bye.